course of reply, the minister had said that they're planning to set up at Ganesh Das Hospital. Initially, there was a proposal sir, to set up a medical college in Odium uh, Whether any construction work was taken up, and if so, how much was the amount spent for the construction works there at Odium Dia? So I am not aware about the Maudiang Diang facilities, sir. so I will require notice. I am not aware. Okay, sir, the minister is not aware, but initially, you know, it was planned to be set up somewhere there in New Shillong Township. Okay, since the minister said require notice. Another question, sir. The amount spent to sponsor students to study medicine, medical courses outside the states, uh, what is the amount, sir, spent by the government annually? So that is a completely different point, because we are talking about establishment of medical college, sir. And here we've been, I've been asked to submit this. I require notice for that as well. So it's so important. You know, we are talking about a state university. We are talking about a medical college. But the minister, okay, sir, requires notice. Fine. Maybe uh, later on she'll come up with a proper reply. So a large number of students are pursuing medicine outside the state and even abroad. So the point is, a lot of our students are keen to pursue medicine, medical courses. So that's why I brought up this question, so that if we have our own medical colleges in our state, this will facilitate our students to study inside the state. It will serve, I mean, save a lot of resources. Now a lot of capital outflow is going, not even outside the state, outside the country, sir. We have students pursuing studies in Bangladesh, in Ukraine, in China, and a lot, uh, uh, a lot of uh, other number, uh, a lot of other countries also. So if we have our own medical colleges, if we have 100 seats, two medical colleges, 200 seats, uh, the, um, just imagine the amount of money that will be saved the amount of money that will spare the parents, you know, from allowing the students to pursue studies. That's why the minister maybe is busy since he's fighting elections also. Maybe there's enough time <laughs> to go through all this. So, sir, let's hope she gets elected. Doesn't get elected also. Uh, sir, it is very important, sir, because, you know, a lot of parents are spending huge amount of money. Some of them are even taking Honorable loans. Speaker, sir, may I know the question? Honourable members, question, sir. Yes, please. Please, Pardon, go on sir. with your question. What is your question? So, the question is, sir, if we can expedite setting up of these medical colleges, sir, that will facilitate uh, students for the state to pursue studies within the state, if not within the state, within the country, rather than go abroad, sir. And, you know, going abroad is, uh, you know, involves a, a huge amount of expenditure. So, government is committed to make sure that we set three medical colleges in the state, as was said in the past, even Honorable Chief Minister has made that statement. Talk about my going for elections, question on medical college, asking me how much we're spending for students outside. I've said it is out of the purview of this question. And I will correct myself, sir. There has been no proposal to set a medical college in Maori Angliang, ever. I knew that, but I needed confirmation and I just received the confirmation. That was never a place that was uh, targeted to start a medical college. In fact, it was a TB hospital that was to be set up there, sir. So, government is committed. Any questions on any of the updates as to how prepared we are? I'm willing to respond, sir. So let us stick to that, and I'm ready to respond. So what I'm asking this question, we face a lot of shortages of doctors. So, sir, if we can have our own medical colleges, I think we can address that issue. I have nothing personal against the minister. Don't take it personal. But then we are addressing these issues. Every time we debate in the House, we have PLCs, CHCs, hospitals running short of doctors. And we see our uh, uh, patients have to go abroad for specialized uh, treatments. So if we can have our own medical colleges, we can have all the specialized treatments inside the state itself. That will, you know, save the people, sir, from, you know, taking loans to avail proper treatment. So this is a very serious issue, sir. And then 
you know, I think we're sponsoring quite a number of students. I think approximately, sir, the minister could have told us the amount spent on sponsoring students to study outside the state by the government, sir. Sir, I require notice that information will be provided in due time, sir, so that I do not miss the mark. And yes, sir, I reiterate, we are committed. We are aware. And uh, there are many complications with regard to shortage of doctors, especially specialists in the state of Meghalaya. But not to take too much time from the question, uh, I am refraining from responding to those observations because here is question R. Question is simple. What is the status of these two medical colleges? And I'm prepared to reply these two questions. College decided by the government. Sir, so, MOU signing for the Tura Government College started way back in December 2014. Then the original site was surveyed in 2015, May. Then it was observed that the erstwhile location of the Tura Medical College was too far from the hospital, which is a necessary component for permissions to be sought. So it was relocated to a new site about 10 kilometers away. About 99 uh, acres of land in this new site. 243.82 crores crores. Then the NIT was floated in December of 2018 and um, a selection process was initiated and a bidder at L1 was also selected. Actual work at the site of the Tura Medical College was in January 2019 and uh, extension of tenders there were two tenders extension. One was February 23, sorry, one was March 2022 and May 2023. So at Shillong Medical College, this decision was taken 2023 and uh, we have already said that this, this is a brownfield project and we will be taking the the facilities of these two institutions, which substantiates for the requirement of numbers of beds and hospitals in uh, processing of permissions for the setting up of the Shillong Medical College, sir, by the National Medical Commission. So we've already initiated an essential certificate in the name of Shillong Medical College. We have formed a Shillong Medical College Management Society. Uh, we are now preparing for the request of proposal or the RFP uh, for the design of this medical college and uh, the architectural medical, uh, the map has to be also processed and duly uh, designed. So we are now, we have also established a project monitoring unit, it is in progress. And uh, we have also submitted an application to the Northeastern Hill University for obtaining affiliation to the necessary no objection certificate. We have about 15 doctors from our own services that are now uh, being sent for assistant professorship or senior residency should to the, to the Negrims, and uh, we are now at a stage where uh, we are also obtaining essential licenses like fire safety and pollution control, control approvals from the necessary authorities. So may I know from the Honorable Minister whether the government has made any change from the original proposal? Sir, the question is not clear. From, because, sir, I remember that the government has already decided to set up a medical college in Shillong and they have tried to find a place in TV hospital. And there are many changes that took place. So may I know from the Honorable Minister whether that original 
proposal to set up medical college in Tura and, Mil and Shillong has been changed now. So to my knowledge, initially there was a proposal for a medical college in Shillong in the vicinity somewhere near the Red, Red Chess Hospital and that was to be on a PPP mode. So that has changed, now it's a government college. Yes, uh, uh, Rambui, please. Please stick to the uh, principal question. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm very happy that the government, after so many years, has taken the decision to set up a medical college. Sir, considering the shortage of the specialists everywhere in the state of Mekhalia, it is a very good step. But now, uh, from what we have seen the report also, even the Negrim also uh, uh, struggled to have a faculty. My concern is that uh, how the government will address the issue of faculty in this medical college, because as the minister already mentioned, only 15 number have been there in service. So how to address this issue even, even the repute institution like NACRIM have struggled to have a proper faculty, sir? So this is a commitment that we want to take head on. We are familiar with the challenges that will occur. Year one, there are few faculty uh, requirements, year two, year three. So we will take it as it comes, sir, but we will go ahead. By Charles, please. In the course of the reply of the Honorable Minister, you have been made to understand that the Shillong Medical College will be uh, will, will start functioning from the Ganesh Das and Shillong Civil Hospital. Under the Medical Council of India norms, is the land available in these two hospitals sufficient to set up a medical college within those premises? The, ND, uh, the NMM, NMC National Medical Commission asked for 20 acres as of now in the new site for the Shillong Medical College. We have 70 acres. Uh, Barbara Cherry, Marvanil, please. I know from the Honorable Minister in Charge uh, Health Department, uh, as you had already mentioned, that uh, presently the government had sent 15 doctors for, to arm themselves so that they can take up the, the job as uh, the assistant professor in these uh, medical colleges. Uh, I just want to know from the minister concerned whether they have a record of uh, our own people from the state uh, who might have the expertise but presently are serving in different capacities throughout the countries or even abroad. Is there any uh, steps taken by the government to make contact with them so that we can ask them to join the medical college? So we have already mapped the required human resources. However, we now need to keep in place a new HR policy so that we make these adjustments. If you know that retirement ages of doctors are at 62, if memory serves me right. So now we need to work on this policy because the medical college is important and correctly as pointed out by the honorable member, we have to take resources from all of the wealth of doctors that we have in and around the state of Meghalaya. We are also trying to uh, map uh, retired doctors from uh, the army, retired doctors from, uh, from uh, you know, well-known, reputed institutions uh, from across the state. So we are on the job. Okay. Madam Yani, Shira, please. Uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, may I know from the Honorable Minister uh, whether the government has set any timeline uh, for the completion of Tura Medical College. Yes, Honorable Speaker, sir. 
we have start uh, we have already set a new time timeline like we said extension for the completion of the tura medical college at one point in march 2022 we've extended it to february 23 and then again we extended the timeline in may 2023 and this extension will enable us to extend the project completion to about june 2024 sir we also have other components like approach roads um, you know power and other essential things and we are now on the job we should target this time sir i think she wants to for the second sir uh sir uh, the in the course of the honorable minister's reply it says that 57% is completed so i just wanted to know from the honorable minister whether the timeline set is a practical one or not because uh, within this short span of time whether it can be completed so i would just share some progress reports of the tura medical college to keep things in perspective the academic block we are at 65% completion type 2 blocks type 5 two blocks we are at about 88% Uh, completed these are the administrative blocks then the principal's residence we are at about 91% so this is also at that level so then we see the type 2 uh, type 4 blocks there also we are at 30% type 2 blocks of g plus 4 we are at 15% so three blocks of type 2 we are at 25% the boundary wall we are at 40% the girls hostel g+3 we are at 33 35% the boys hostel g+3 we are at 48% uh, the retaining wall of these facilities of hostel is about 72% the electric substation is at about 62% uh, percent. so we are looking at targeting this when when is the 2020 what chance you go please college will be functional in 25 26 the year is the present infrastructure will it be able to cater to this requirements of the college present yes. infrastructure yes sir okay. so the like we said inspections will be made and we will get to know at that point of time sir yes. so my only concern is sir the ganesh das hospital is at any point of time if you visit it it's fully packed with patients and some even occupy the corridors to sleep and wait for their turn to deliver their babies so i find it very uh, i mean it's an ambitious thing i'm glad that the college is coming but i'm afraid that the infrastructure may be uh, may put a hurdle to this timeline perhaps the honorable minister will look into this aspect also sir. yes sir we are concerned as well and definitely these will be determined as we cross the bridge